we're going to look at one more example of a pattern with a constant ratio. So if we have a look at this pattern here, 9, 3, 1, 1 third, 1 ninth, etc. One way to think about how we've gone from one term to the next is to think about it as we've divided by 3. So we could think each time we've gone, we've divided by 3. But another way of writing divide by 3 is to simply talk about it as multiplying by 1 over 3. And we're going to use this idea of multiplying by 1 over 3 because then we're basically going to be in the same, have the same story as we did the previous time. So let's see how it works out in a similar way. If we put it in a table, we can then see, like we did last time, that the first term is just 9. And the second term is that 9, but then multiplied by a third. And then the next term along is going to be that 9 multiplied by a third and then multiplied by another third. And then the next term, 9 multiplied by a third, multiplied by a third, multiplied by a third. And now if you write these as exponents, we are going to be able to see the pattern very nicely. This is 9 times 1 third to the power of 1. This is 9 times 1 third to the power of 2. And this is 9 time one, times 1 third to the power of 3. And funnily enough, this first one, just so we can also write it as with a power is um, 1 third to the power of 0 is just 1, right? So this is 9 times 1. So it's 9 times 1 third to the power of 0. Now again, just as we did last time, we notice the pattern. When we've got term 1, we've got a power of 0. Term 2, we've got a power of 1. Term 3, we've got a power of 2. Term 4, we've got a power of 3. And so that helps us see quite easily that for term n, we're going to have 9 multiplied by 1 third to the power of n minus 1. And let me write that nice and big there. It's Tn is going to be 9 multiplied by 1 third to the power of n minus 1.